What sort of person are you? I'm a, I'm a normal person. I mean, people have the image of me that I'm a... I'm a bad boy, I'm this, I'm that. People are curious, how is this Zlatan and that. I'm, I'm, I'm a family guy. I'm, I'm taking care of my family, but when I come on the pitch, I'm a lion. You described yourself on the pitch as believing you were a lion. Is that right? I am a lion. I think it's the self-confidence. If you believe in what you do and keep doing it, I mean, when I was young, I had a lot of people telling me, you have to adjust to the other ones. You have to be like the other ones. I was listening, but I, I wasn't always following. I dragged it in, how do you say, I was listening, but I did my own thing. I kept doing my own thing, and I believed in myself. What was like the question there, like, they judge you even before you come, and they don't even know you. And that was outside the pitch and inside the pitch. But I kept going, I kept going, and it brought me where I am today. Confidence and believe in what you do. That is, I think that is the goal target. If they can do it, I can do it. And that's the mentality. If somebody else can do it, you can do it. And I said to myself, I will do it and I will do it better. I try to, when I do something, want to be the best. I will not be happy being the second, third or the fourth. I won't. My inspiration is that above everybody else. And that's in everything I do, in my project like this, in my football. And another thing, whatever everybody else says is not important. So if they tell you you're best, it's not important. The important is that you say you're the best. What's the best advice you've received in your career? Uh, believe in yourself. Who can do the most push-ups in the team? Me. And when did football start to become a part of your life? I think when I was 17. Before 17, I was like the, the last one to they considered to become good. I mean, one day, the first coach of the first team, he went out and he saw me in a game and he was like, I want to have a meeting with you. And I was like, OK, what did I do now? I mean, every time I had a meeting was for some kind of disciplinary thing. and. Uh, and then he said, on Monday, you start to train with the big guys. You're in a first team. And then I was like, from considering to be the, not the biggest talent, like let's say the last one in the group, to jump over all of them and come in the first group. And I was like, okay. And I, I was in shock because, and I didn't want to say it too much because maybe if I talk too much, he will change his mind. I was like, okay, see you on Monday then. When they saw me, they saw, the player that was different from the other ones. It was a great feeling, but at the same time, I was like, now I have opportunity to do something good out of it. And it's pretty, it's up to me. So if I want to, to become something that I think I can become, I have to train hard. And that's my mentality. I, will, I like to train hard. I mean, you can have talent, but talent don't take you all the way. How does a world-class footballer like yourself decide one day to create a sports brand? I mean, after 15 years of experience on top level, train every day, spend a lot of hours. As a kid having this dream, imagine if I would have my own brand and here I am. I can say I have my own sport brand, that's my area. And uh, I had this kid's dream, my vision, my, my passion and then I met the perfect partner who made it real. So give a big applause to Peter Warner. That is my colleague. So <laughs> thanks to him, it, it became real. So, so today, it's, the wait is over. Now, now it's time to take over. This is what I came for. I came to win, and I'm winning. So I just have to keep going, because the more I win, the more satisfied I get. So. That's me. You, of course, scored a winning goal for Ajax all those years ago when you were just 20. You're 35 now. Does it get more special to win trophies the older you get? Exactly. I think you appreciate it more the older you get. In the beginning, it's more like hype, be more fun. You don't realize what the trophy means. The older I got, the more mature I got, the more surrounding I got by the winning mentality, the more I understood that it's all about winning. It's all about collecting these trophies. And that is what I'm doing. I think this, this was my 32 trophy and wow, I'm super happy. Wherever I went, I won.
You've had a truly phenomenal season. You've scored more goals than anyone in the whole of England. Even by your high standards, has it gone better than you could have expected when you signed during the summer? No, no, this is what I predicted. I, everything I saw would happen. The only thing the other ones didn't see it. And I came here to show them what I saw and what I would do. And I'm doing it. Because apparently to many I could not do it. My friend, I keep going. I keep doing what I'm doing every year. And I'm enjoying the game. There was no question about it. Galaxy was the team and uh, I chose them. So they didn't need to choose me. I chose them and I come to do exactly what I've been doing the last 20, 23 years. Winning, because I feel it's in my DNA. Wherever I come, I won and I will still do it. So I'm coming to win, I'm coming to help and, and make it better. It's part of the game. If you come up among lions, you should expect to get attacked by the lions. It's normal because if you're a cat, you will run away. But if you're a lion, you will stay among the other lions. I came here as a 35-year-old where everybody thought I was in a wheelchair. And what happened? The lion is still alive. And that's the way it is. <laughs> Who's the best striker in the Premier League right now? For me, I like a striker that makes the difference. Lukaku is strong. He's more the, the physical player that scores a lot of goals. Aguero is good. You didn't say yourself. I was expecting you to say me. Lions, they don't compare themselves with humans. <laughs> but you're, you're well aware of the image of you. And as you know, the word that crops up the most is arrogant. But do you think that's getting less and less? I now? don't believe that uh, I'm arrogant in the way that people think. I'm confident. I have a big confidence. I believe in myself. That's. That's not being arrogant, that's something that I believe it's an it's a individual strength in the, in the human being. I have confidence, I believe in myself and I have a vision and, and I do everything and I work hard for it and I don't believe that's arrogant. Did you have any doubts on coming back? In that moment when it happened, it was easier for me to say that I will come back, because then I had a challenge. The thing is, in the last years, when you're thinking how, ma how many years more you want to play, you want to come every day train, you want to do that sacrifice, that is where you're hesitating. But when the injury happened, it was easy for me. I had one target, and that is to come back, to play the game, and I will walk out just like I came in. I will not walk out limping. I will walk out the way I want to walk out. And even if I have to walk on water, I will do that also. <laughs> you have to say something. <laughs> you suffered your first major injury in your career last April, tearing your cruciate ligament. But the lion came back a little quicker than maybe some people expected. Where are you at physically and are you ready to hit the ground running and contribute from the jump for the Galaxy? I'm training very hard because I'm demanding for myself to be where I was before. I know what I'm able to do. I'm not worried about that. The only thing is my knee has to follow what I want to do and he will follow. I'm just being myself. I'm not pretending to be somebody I'm not. I'm not pretending to be perfect. I'll do mistakes. I did mistakes. I learned from it, but I will still repeat my mistakes. That's, that's the human, human life. Everybody does the same thing. And the one who thinks he's the most perfect guy, he will, he will fall, and he will fall very fast. I know only that I am 35. I'm getting 36 in a couple of months, which I have been proven is just a number. I keep going. I make the other one looks, look older than me, yeah. I know the Premier League is begging me for, to stay. I came here, I said I need one year. It took me three months what I wanted. How I feel today, I don't know if I will feel like this next year. Come on, admit, a lot of it is an act. Dare to Zlatan, this stuff is just you having fun. I don't believe in acting because I don't get paid to get to act. I so get it's paid about money. to be myself. <laughs> so I'm always myself from the first day, so I don't pretend nothing. I'm just myself and either people like it or they don't like it. I don't care because I'm not here. That 
to to make up an acting part. I'm here to play football. I'm here to to win. And in the end of the career, or when you stop playing football, people remember you for what you won. So you think that I'm done? That my career will soon be over? You don't know me. All my life I had to fight. No one believed in me. So I had to believe in myself. Some people wanted to break me. But they only made me stronger. Others wanted to exploit me. They only made me smarter. And now you think I'm done? To all of you, I only have one thing to say. I'm not like you, because I'm not you. I am Zlatan Ibrahimovic, and I am just warming up.